Greetings in the love and light of the one infinite creator. We are the council of one. We have been assembled as a portal to intelligent infinity. In the birth of all that is. Today we would speak on activating your higher self. Your higher self is like an echo from the future. Your higher self is your inevitable conclusion after not just the wisdom of one lifetime, but after the wisdom of all lifetimes have been assembled and integrated and ultimately released. Your higher self does not live in an imaginary future which does not exist at this moment. Your higher self exists right now in this moment, but also in that imaginary future. This future in truth is imaginary because it never arrives. Truth is always present. Truth is always here. Truth is always now. Likewise, your higher self is present now. But it sees you-ness from a much larger perspective. Your higher self sees your you-ness in the context of many-ness. It sees your truths from many parallel lives, many sequential lives, many probable and imaginary lives. Your higher self is an echo from the future, but it is present always right now. 
it has been here and done this before. And in its infinite love, it allows this version of you-ness to make any choice that you desire. And this larger self, this higher self, is always supporting you, is always guiding you in so much as you will be guided in direct proportion to how often you ask for guidance. This higher self is always supporting your own discovery of your selfness because it remembers that exact lesson. Your higher self is not separate from you. It does not exist somewhere out there in the imaginary future. It is a higher dimensional version of your present true being, your present true understanding. You are not separated from it, ever, but your free will and perception can miss or ignore this endless love and support. you may utilize the wisdom, the guidance of your higher self from the dimension you reside in. You may seek guidance for practical issues or you may elevate your frequency, your perceptual level to match that of your higher self. This is to say that you can bring your higher self down to you or you can bring yourself up to your higher self. This energy can flow freely in both directions. Eventually this energy can become like the inhale and exhale of the breath with the higher self gently sharing imagery, symbology, intuition down the chain to Eunice or Eunice sliding up this harmonic scale of light to access the perceptions of higher dimensions, of higher states of being. Remember, your higher self is not 
in reality, in the future. But your higher self is now on a different frequency in a higher dimension. But all of the dimensions exist one inside of the other. So there is no real separation. It is simply a question of frequency. Remember the idea of the echo. Every thought, every feeling creates a wave in the universe. And every wave, like sonar, eventually comes bouncing back. Think of your higher self as an echo from your future, reflecting your own voice, your own awareness, your own light back to yourself. but never forget this higher self is right here and right now. We leave you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. We are the council of one. Namaste. Wow. And that was humbling. That was humbling to witness and to feel. And the visual of us having the option to call wisdom down to us here for human concerns. Higher self, how can I make more money? Higher self, how can I get a girlfriend? Higher self, how can I get a better car? Having the option to do that and seeing clearly that higher self will support us in those intentions. I could also see the option of pulling yourself up to the perspective of the higher self. Instead of bringing them down into you, you can go up into them. And this feels like somewhat of a paradigm shift in how we relate to the higher self. Rather than treating the higher self like an external guide that will give us specific information. We can treat the higher self like a salmon in a stream. A salmon determined enough to literally swim up a waterfall. We can be that salmon in the flow of our own life stream. And the Holy Grail
is always right now. We can swim upward in our own life stream until there's nowhere else to go. And we can simply notice what it feels like there. We can simply appreciate the bigness of it. We can appreciate the contentment of it. It's a beautiful invitation. It's a beautiful invitation. Thank you, Council. And and I do want to share a very important moment I had with with Ra today. I could see that every time I calibrate to them, I let my own consciousness melt into theirs just a little bit more. And I could feel that the benefit that I get from that is their eons of celestial wisdom. And then I wondered, what do they receive from this exchange, from this relationship? And what I could feel is that they get to absorb another conscious field that makes their own field even bigger. Spirits join together like particles join to make planets. And when planets get large enough, they turn into stars. And when stars get large enough, they turn into black holes. And the black holes pull everything into themselves. This is similar to how consciousness works. The more consciousness that resonates on the same frequency, the more gravity that frequency has. And so by merging with the frequency of Ra, I get access to eons of celestial wisdom And they get a larger amplifier. I could see this relationship very clearly. And it's a good trade, y'all. It's a good trade. I'm honored. to join the collective. I am of the law of one. And I am a humble servant. Mmm. Satsik Ananda. Soul stream. Council of one. Channel panel. <laughs> Over and out, y'all. Peace.